A bunch of cars coming together at the exit of corner number four. Zeb Wise inspecting the damage to the Redeen Racing 26. Go downstairs to Connor Wade. Top lane is absolutely shredded on this race car and there's a lot of damage to the left front as well. You can see how folded inward the left front is. The drag link is bent up. There's uh, looks like a radius rod hanging down. Can't tell if there's really a lot of frame damage to this thing. Doesn't look like uh, a ton just for my angle, but uh, very damaged top wing and left front on this 26 star. Thank you, Connor. We get word over the Racing Electronics radio system. Landon Crawley is in the Federated Car Care work zone in car number 7S. So again, did not get the lap completed. World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series scoring works like this. Normally, if the leader and one other car, whether it's second place or a lap car, cross the line, the lap counts, but that exception is lap one of the feature or on any lap following a restart. So again, we have to get the entire field through on the initial lap on any start, whether it's the initial start or a restart for the lap to count. The Size Motorsports, number 7S in the Federated Car Care Work Zone. I understand Chase Park in the 45X headed to the Federated Car Care Work Zone as well. Damaged top wing coming off the 45X for Chase Park. New top wing about to be installed. More now from Connor Wade. Yeah, the right sideboard of that top wing for Park was shredded up. You see the new top wing on this 45X machine. Johnny Herrera's crew, a help from several crew members down here in the work area. New wing fastened on the 45X for Park, of course, coming off a 13th place finish last week. And then Landon Crawley in the 7S, uh, from what I could tell, the side screw just knocking a bunch of mud off of that race car. I think there was some mud uh, kind of down around the radiator, maybe even uh, stuffed in the left front wheel. So they just were getting that out so it didn't derail Landon for the rest of this race. Looks like the 7S being pushed back out. They're still trying to get this top wing tightened down on the 45X. Thank you so much, Connor Wade. We get set to refire the engines and prepare for the upcoming complete restart. And again, nine races so far for the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series in 2024 with nine different feature winners. That is a record to start a season. For that streak to continue, drivers starting in the top 10, James McFadden, Buddy Kofoy, the only two in the top eight that have not yet won this season with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Neither driver scheduled to start in row five. Ryan Timms and Austin McCarl have been to victory lane not only this season, but in their careers. More now from Connor Wade. Tanner Holmes in the work area also, John. He caught a piece of that wise flip. I didn't see exactly uh, what he got of it, but something that caused the left front tire to go down. A new left front on the 18 feet. 18T, I should say. Fortunately, the hub and the rest of the axle and everything else okay on the front end of Tanner Holmes. As far a little bit of nose wing damage, should be good to go. Thank you once again, Connor Wade, down in the Federated Car Care work zone as the field powers up for the upcoming complete restart. Coming into this evening's feature, David Gravel leading the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series point standings with 1,272 points. That is an 18-point advantage over the 10-time champion, Donnie Schatz. Schatz with 1,254. Giovanni Selzy third. Now, Selzy at one point was tied with David Gravel at the top of the standings. 
a crash last week at the 81 Speedway, and now, of course, the problems earlier this evening forcing him to use a provisional and start deep in the field. Selzy trying to keep pace with gravel and shots at the top of the standings. Just 10 points behind Selzy. Currently fourth is the one S of Logan Shewhart with Carson Macedo rounding out the top five, and then Sheldon Hodenschild in sixth in the current standings, again looking for that third straight victory here at the U.S. 36 Raceway. Understand now an issue for Bill Baylog in the number 17B, the B-squared motorsports car headed to the Federated Car Care and Work Zone. Bill Baylog in the Federated Car Care Work Zone. See if we can determine the issue on that machine and we get report now it is a flat right rear tire, flat right rear tire for the 17B of Bill Baylog. Connor Wade down in the Federated Car Care Work Zone. Yep, you said it, John. Flat right rear wheel wrench uh, on the right rear right now. The new tire is already in place, but not a lot of time for these crews to uh, get a new right rear on this race car. They're just now getting the rear end jacked up. Wheel nut off, new right rear goes on, and we're trying to get Baylog back out. And of course, Bill Baylog already a rough night here at US 36 Raceway was in a spot to qualify for the Toyota Dash on the last lap of his heat race, got into a lap car and got upside down, had to battle his way back through the Microlite Last Chance Showdown. And now more drama here before a lap is complete in the feature. And now Jacob Allen in the Federated Car Care Work Zone as well in car number 1A. So multiple drivers. And again, looking at the replay from the drone high above the US 36 Raceway of that crash, there were multiple cars involved coming out of corner number four. It was Zeb Wise getting the worst of it, but definitely multiple cars making contact there as we came to the conclusion of the opening lap. Right rear tire has been replaced on the 17B for Bill Baylog. He is set to rejoin the field. Tire has been replaced on Jacob Allen's 1A as well, getting set to rejoin the field for him. And Connor Wade, we get word over the World of Outlaws radio system. They're going to inspect the racetrack, see if there's any debris out there that may be cutting these tires down. Yeah, actually, uh, no tire down on the 1A of Jacob Allen. He just came in and wanted his crew guys to make some shock adjustments. So they did that, pushing Allen off right now. Thank you again, Connor. So again, World of Outlaws, NOS, Energy Drink Sprint Car Series officials doing a quick Roll around the racetrack to inspect the surface, make sure we don't have debris out there causing tires to go down. Jacob Allen returning in car number 1A. So again, no laps complete in this one. Tyler Courtney on the pole in the 7BC and Shelton Hodenshield to his outside in the 17. The two of David Gravel and the 83 senior of uh, James McFadden in row number two, the 83 of Buddy Kofoid, the 41 of Carson Macedo in row three, 15 Donnie Schatz, 24 Rico Abreu, 5 T Ryan Timms, and 88 Austin McCarl in row number five. Your top 10 starters as once again the caution lights go out on the Toyota Pace truck. Green flag again at US 36 Raceway. Side by side for the lead. Tyler Courtney on the bottom. Sheldon Hodenshield on the top. Hodenshield in front as they reach turn three. But Courtney right there with him. Looks to the low side out of turn number four. Sheldon's got the momentum. Sheldon leads lap number one. Sheldon Hodenshield leading it. Tyler Courtney in second. James McFadden third. David Gravel fourth. And Carson Macedo in the fifth spot. Courtney trying to keep pace with the driver who is undefeated here at Osborne, Missouri. And again, traffic soon to be a factor. Jacob Allen pulls into the infield in car number 1A. And we've got a car sideways. The 70 of Craig Kins are right in the middle of turn number one, caution flag displayed.
Craig Kinzer facing the wrong direction in turn one. Now drifting down the banking in the Premier Motorsports number 70. Craig had been running in the 20th position. Three laps complete. Gives the leaders a bit more of a clear racetrack once again. They were already approaching the back of the field. We'll take a look at the Dirt Vision replay from the speed shot there. And you can see Craig Kinzer just sideways entering turn number one. And wow, nearly got clipped there. Great job by the drivers taking evasive action. Three laps complete in this 35 lap feature. Sheldon Hodden showed the leader in the 17. Tyler Courtney second in the 7BC. Third belongs to the 83 senior of James McFadden. David Gravel will restart fourth and Carson Macedo fifth. Buddy Kofoid runs sixth. Ryan Timms up into the seventh spot. Running eighth is Donnie Schatz. Rico Abreu ninth and Logan Schuhart completing the top 10. Sheldon Hodgeshield will have lane choice for the upcoming double file restart. And a report over the Racing Electronics World of Outlaws radio system of some debris on the speedway. Sheldon chooses the outside lane. It worked for him on the initial start. So Sheldon will bring us back to green flag conditions from the outside of row number one. Cars in the odd numbered running positions make up the outside lane. Cars in the even numbered running positions now on the inside. Craig Kinzer has now reached the Federated Car Care work zone. So the two minute clock will start. We'll stay under yellow flag conditions. Craig Kinzer this evening making his fourth appearance at US 36 Raceway. Best finish here, a third place run in 2009. And the car in the Federated Car Care work zone, but we do not see crew members, at least at this point. Now they arrive on the scene. Connor Wade is down there as well. Craig came in and screamed a pan hard bar, so the crew went and Raina got one, now getting some wrenches to get the uh, current pan hard bar that's broken off, and they'll try to get a new one on the front end. The pan hard bar, really hard to get on. You're working right around the front axle. You got the drive length also involved as well. You're trying to move your hands to, uh, around torsion arms and stuff like that. So the pan hard bar, hard to get to, but these guys are trying to get a new one on the 70 car. Thank you, Connor Wade. And see them lifting the entire front end off the ground. And unfortunately, two minute clock about to expire. And unless they can have that car ready to push when the field gets the one to go signal, Craig would be trapped in the Federated Car Care work zone. Looks like the repairs have been made. And Craig Kins are set to return to battle. Caution lights out, set to come back to the green flag. Three laps down, 32 laps remaining. Sheldon Hodgeshield, the leader from the outside of the front row, be the first to fire to bring us back under green flag conditions. Underway once again. Sheldon with the lead, battle for the second spot now. J-Mac up to challenge Sunshine as they race into three and four. Courtney Good down on the bottom of the speedway, maintains second. What a war for the fourth spot. David Gravel holding off Buddy Kofoid and Carson Macedo. Three distinct lines by those three drivers through turns one and two. Macedo slides up in front of Kofoid to take the fifth spot. Buddy trying to return serve down on the bottom. Six laps now complete. Sheldon Hodgeshield leading on the top of the racetrack. Here comes Sunshine down low in three and four, looking for the lead. Can't make it happen, but he is right there. And now Sheldon will go to the bottom in one and two. Once again, the leaders approach the back of the field. Track still fast, still seeing lap times in the low 11 second range by your race leader. Kofoid going at it with David Gravel racing for fourth. 
Bravo fends off that challenge, at least for the moment. And again, heavy traffic now directly in front of race leader Sheldon Heidenshield as lap number 10 goes in the books. Sheldon trying to find a way through the slower cars in front of him. Lead over Tyler Courtney, seven tenths of a second. Sheldon makes a nice move to get to the inside of Chase Park and puts some distance between himself and the 7BC. Courtney to the inside of Park, now in turns three and four. Roth Motorsports teammates about to go at it. Buddy Kofoid coming after James McFadden, and now Tony Schott's a quick peek to the inside of Kofoid. Still heavy traffic for the race leader, Sheldon Hottenshield. Donnie Schatz into the top five now and looking for more. Challenging the 83 senior. David Gravel all over. Sunshine for second now. Gravel to the inside of one and two. He'll take the spot. David Gravel up to second now. David Gravel sets his sights on the NOS Energy Drink number 17 of leader Sheldon Hodge. We approach the halfway point in the Wildcat Showdown at US 36 Raceway. Sheldon continuing to work traffic. Now the race for the third spot. Donnie Schatz up to fourth and coming after Sunshine for third. David Gravel trying to cut into Sheldon Hodenshield's lead. Cross flags, 18 down, 17 to go for Sheldon Hodenshield. And David Gravel is getting closer. 20 shots around Tyler Courtney for third. Shots now sets his sights on David Gravel and Sheldon Hodenshield. We work on lap number 20 of 35 at US 36 Raceway. David Gravel getting closer to Sheldon Hottenshield. Oh, Sheldon gets into the slower car and spins. Sheldon Hottenshield tangling with Chris Windham and spinning to a stop in turn one. Sheldon Hottenshield while leading the race. Goes low into turn one, gets into the back of Chris Windham. Both cars spin. David Gravel does a nice job to make the move around the outside. We are beyond the halfway point, so no guaranteed time in the Federated Car Care Work Zone should Sheldon Hodenshield wish to take the number 17 there. David Gravel now will assume the race lead in car number two with Donnie Schatz running in the second spot. Tyler Courtney third, James McFadden fourth, and Buddy Kofoid will be fifth when we go back to the green flag. Sheldon Hodden showed in the Federated Car Care Work Zone. Again, the crew inspecting. You can see some damage to the nose wing on that car. But again, there is no guaranteed time in that Federated Car Care Work Zone. Connor Wade is down there. Yeah, like you said, John, no guaranteed time. Really put him uh, in a hole right there. Kyle Ripper, the crew chief, just trying to pull the nose wing so they wouldn't rub up against one of the front tires. But they're going to send him back out with the damage to the front end. Thank you, Connor. So David Gravel, now your race leader in car number two, third place finish here in 2016, his best in three attempts at US 36 Raceway. And of course, Donnie Schatz, the 10 time series champion, 500 career sprint car victories overall. And Schatz to the outside as David Gravel chooses the bottom for the upcoming double file restart. In his storied career, Donnie Schatz has not won in six attempts here at US 36 Raceway. His best finish here, a fourth place run in 2009. So on the last double file restart, the leader picked the outside lane. This time, David Gravel chooses the inside. One to go signal shown to the field. 20 laps complete, 15 laps remaining. Drivers in the top three positions all have feature wins to their credit in 2024. 
James McFadden running fourth does not. Again, nine races, nine winners so far in 2024 for the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Gravel brings us back to the green flag. Gravel to the bottom, Donnie Shots in the middle, Sunshine up to challenge Shots for second. Courtney to the inside in three and four, Donnie Shots good off the middle there. Battle between Carson Macedo and Rico Abreu for the fifth position. Abreu looks up top in three and four. Abreu looking for a run on the 41 down the front straightaway. They'll go side by side into turn one. Macedo holds the spot and now Kofoid nearly getting together with Rico Abreu in the sixth position battle. Abreu fends off Kofoid and now looks again to the outside of the 41 of Carson Macedo. Fifth spot up for Brown. They make contact. Contact between Abreu and Macedo and Abreu sits sideways in turn two. Rico Abreu and Carson Macedo contact while battling for the fifth position. Abreu sits the wrong direction at the exit of turn two. I understand damage will require the services of the wrecker on the front of Rico Abreu's number 24. Another look at the replay. You have to wonder if there's any damage to the number 41 for Carson Macedo. Twenty-three laps complete, and that means we stay with a double file restart. We go to single file when we have ten laps or less remaining. Drivers now being instructed to stop at the top of turns one and two via the race communication system. We are going to go under red flag conditions. We have reached the point where we cannot finish this race on a full tank of fuel at the beginning. So we'll go under open red flag conditions as Rico Abreu's number 24 is headed to the Federated Car Care Work Zone. The report we got, they need a front axle as well as a front wing on that car. So the open red here, a big break for Rico Abreu in terms of his chances of returning to the field. Cars have stopped in turns one and two. Crew members now permitted onto the speedway. A look at your race leader, David Gravel. Gravel the series points leader, looking to extend that advantage here this evening, but Donnie Schatz right behind him. Schatz currently sits second in the series standings. Get the air in the fucking right rear. So again, fuel a concern here. 
And as we've mentioned in the past, in case anyone is wondering why we don't go with fuel only on these stops, why we have a complete open red, too difficult to police, fuel only would need an official at every car to make sure no other adjustments were made. Much easier to climb yeah, no, the cruise control open red. They can add fuel or make any other adjustments they need necessary with the exception of changing a tire. You're fine. I can't get your one and two worth of shit. You are when you go through the crease, you pull away from them by fucking five car lengths every time. And you hear the air horn sounding there. That marks the final two minutes of the open red conditions. You'll hear a double air horn blast when there is one minute remaining. And then a final single air horn blast when crew members need to be away from cars. Here. Right, the Courtney's crew adding fuel to the 7BC. Courtney will restart in the third position. Running order when we go back to green flag condition, we'll find David Gravel leading the race, Donnie Schatz restarting second, Tyler Courtney third, James McFadden fourth, and Carson Macedo fifth, then Buddy Kofoid in sixth, Logan Schuhart seventh, Brock Zierfoss eighth, Chase Randall ninth, and Ryan Timms in tenth. So Chase Randall right now, the driver on the move from the outside of row 12 in the 24th starting position, now has worked his way up to ninth. Less than one minute remaining in the open red flag work area. Adjustments being made to the front suspension on the number 41 for Carson Macedo. Thirty seconds remaining until crew members need to be away from cars. Crew members scrambling away from race cars as we get set to refire engines with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Connor Wade down in the open red work area. John, you mentioned a concern for damage on the 41 of Macedo after the contact there with Ebru. Crew looked it over, said they didn't believe anything was wrong. Uh, like pretty much everybody on their racetrack, a couple air pressure adjustments, but nothing major for the 41 of Carson Macedo. So crew members making their way back to the pit area. Once the racetrack is cleared, we will begin pushing race cars. Set now to refire the engines with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. 23 laps down, 12 to go. David Gravel looking for his second victory of the 2024 campaign and looking to become the first driver to repeat in World of Outlaws victories this season. Picked up his initial win at Volusia Speedway Park in Florida. Just a couple of cars remaining to fire off. Out 
Our Dirt Vision drone follows the field slowly around the US 36 raceway. Drivers lining up in their proper single file running order, and then they'll be asked to go too wide with leader David Gravel having the lane choice. Once again, David Gravel choosing the inside lane for the upcoming double file restart. We should be back under green flag conditions the next time out of turn number four. David Gravel out in front, Donnie Schatz restarting second, Tyler Courtney third, James McFadden fourth, Carson Macedo fifth, Buddy Kofoid now sixth, Logan Schuhart seventh, Brock Zirfoss eighth, Chase Randall ninth, and Ryan Timms in tenth. David Gravel accelerates back to the green flag. Tyler Courtney looks to the inside of Donnie Schatz, but gets passed on the inside by James McFadden. Schatz second, McFadden third, Kofoid now fourth, McFadden coming after Schatz for the second spot. Tyler Courtney shuffled back to fifth. Courtney now coming back after Buddy Kofoid for fourth. Can't make it happen in one and two, and now right there is Carson Macedo. Gravel continuing to lead it with Schatz in second. Nearly some contact between McFadden and Courtney as Buddy Kofoid runs into the third spot now. Less than 10 laps remaining at US 36 Raceway. Sunshine to the cushion, trying to track down James McFadden. Leader approaching the back of the field, barring another caution flag. Traffic should still be a factor in this one. Giovanni Selzy back into the top 10. Shots right there with Gravel separated by six tenths of a second. Gravel will move to the inside of the 7S of Landon Crawley. Shots makes the move to the bottom and turns three and four as well. Donnie Shots hanging right with leader David Gravel. Shots to the middle, out of turn four. Gravel gets by the slower car of Craig Kinzer. Five laps to go. Close call in front of the leaders. Chase Park was a little crossed up in turn. Go, car upside down. Red flag conditions. Ryan Timms upside down in turns one and two. And Bill Baylog involved as well in the 17B. We are under red flag conditions again at US 36 Raceway. Bill Baylog's car rolling away from the accident scene. We'll take a look at the Dirt Vision replay. Ryan Timms caught the cushion and got upside down. Bill Baylog just spinning to avoid contact. So under World of Outlaws rules, Baylog will get his spot back. He spun to avoid contact with a flipping car. 
Tims had been running 13th when he caught the cushion and got upside down. Thirty-one laps complete, four laps to go in this one. David Gravel leading it. Donnie Schatz second, Buddy Kofoid now third, James McFadden fourth, and Tyler Courtney fifth. Carson Macedo restarts sixth. Chase Randall now in seventh from the 24th starting position. Logan Schuhart will restart eighth, Brock Zirfoss ninth, and Giovanni Selzy after using a provisional in 10th in car number 18. Ryan Timms has reached the Federated Car Care work zone. Again, no guaranteed time there. TKS Motorsports number two, KS of Chase Randall. Right now in contention for the KSE Hard Charger Award after starting in the 24th position. Meanwhile, first and second sit side by side over in turn two. Incidentally, those two, the top two in the current series point standings. We refire the engines once again. So with four laps remaining, this restart will be in single file formation at the cone on the front straightaway. Again, your race leader, David Gravel's best finish here at US 36 Raceway, a third place run in 2016, finished 21st in last year's tilt here. Donnie Schatz, 11th here last year, his previous best at this racetrack, fourth in 2009. Donnie Schatz, the only driver with top 10 finishes in all nine features so far in 2024. Caution lights out around the speedway. We'll come back to the green flag at the cone on the front stretch. 31 down, a four lap dash to decide the winner of this one. Underway, US 36 Raceway. Buddy Kofoid looks to Donnie Shots for second, can't make a move in one and two. Kofoid's teammate, James McFadden, challenging for the third position. Three to go. 
Tyler Courtney around the outside of James McFadden. Sunshine now back to the fourth spot. Two laps remaining for David Gravel. Gravel races down the backstretch into three and four. He'll see the white flag. Slower traffic in front of him, but he shouldn't have to deal with them in the final circuit. Back straight away for the final time. David Gravel becomes the first repeat winner of 2024. Donnie Schott's second and third goes to Buddy Kofoid at US 36 Raceway. Unofficially, your top 10, David Gravel with the win. Donnie Schatz in second, Buddy Kofoid third, James McFadden fourth, Tyler Courtney fifth, Chase Randall from 24th to sixth, Carson Macedo seventh, Logan Schuart eighth, Giovanni Selzy ninth, and Brock Zierfoss in 10th. Top finishers head to the scales in the pit area. Minimum weight requirement, 1,425 pounds with the driver in the car. Gravel's first victory here at the US 36 Raceway. And his 90th with the World of Outlaws NOS Energy Drink Sprint Car Series. Word from the scales in the pit area, it is indeed official. David Cravel wins the Wildcats showdown at US 36 Raceway.